I'm a survivor from FGM. I was circumcised twice. I decided to work with young people to educate about FGM. Et moi-même ayant vécu et subi les violences conjugales, je me suis engagé à lutter contre toute répression, contre toute discrimination envers les femmes. Personally, I committed to this fight because I had worked in northern Ghana in an area where FGM is practiced. And I told myself it could have been me. I could have been born there and I would have been helpless. Professionals need to know more about FGM so they can protect women. I remember first time when I came to Ireland, uh, I was asked what FGM was and I have to go on the medical checkup and the nurses did not understand where I come from and what I was talking about. Female genital mutilation is a problem in Europe today because it's a human rights violation and it's one of the most intimate of human rights violation. And very often uh, women and girls who are affected do not have the necessary support and services that they require in order to enable them to live a healthy and adequate life. Je pense que pour arrêter les mutilations génitales féminines sur le continent européen, l'Union européenne doit pouvoir faire en sorte et pousser tous les membres à ratifier la Convention d'Istanbul sur la violence faite aux femmes en général. Et il y a une partie sur la prévention et la sensibilisation, la formation sur les mutilations génitales féminines.